Let me give y'all a million dollars worth of Storm game, bro. Quick. Sell. Before we get out of here, so, you know, I get a call from one of my youngins. You know, he going through something with his woman. And, you know, he break down that, you know, he packed up, he moved, he went to a different city. You know, he did all these things to satisfy her. And he, he called me like, it's just not sitting right with me, unk, that I'm putting my all my motherfucking dreams and my ambitions and my goals on hold to move down with here with her and, you know, be with my child and and support her dreams, you know. And he was asking me what should he do, and, I you know, I told him I would never put my motherfucking dreams and goals on hold for no fucking body. You know what I'm saying? Because all you're going to do is you're going to look up and you're going to be 40 years old, 35 years old, mad as shit that you ain't chase your opportunities and you sat back and watched another mother and supported another mother chasing their opportunities. When you got real goals and you got real dreams and real ambition to be something out here. So, uh, you know, I'm not telling you to leave. I'm telling you that I would have left. You know what I mean? Yeah, it probably would have been some of the hardest shit I would have had to do. But at the end of the day, you you setting yourself up. You somewhere babysitting, man. You somewhere being mother Mrs. Doubtfire, man. She trying to trap you in the house, have you watch the kids while she go to work. She control everything, man. That ain't even no man type of shit. So go ahead out there, man, and chase your dreams, man. And you, if you got to support your, your kid from not being in the household and from a distance because, because you want to be something in life, then that's what you got to do. Because I truly believe that when you get with a woman, there's only two things a woman going to do for you. Either she going to elevate you or she going to deflate you like a motherfucking tire. Either you, she going to be there to help you elevate in whatever you're doing. Whatever you're doing. So if you a basketball player, she like, no, nah, baby, get up. You got to be to work. Come on. You got to get to practice. Come on. Why you ain't practice this week? You slipping, babe. Come on. You what? Oh, no, you can't eat that. You got to eat this. Okay. She going to make sure. I don't give a fuck if she's setting a, 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 a cook up for you, a chef up for you. If she doing it herself, she going to make sure you elevate. She not going to be making sure, oh, you got a game tonight and we about to argue over some dumb shit because you ain't post me on Instagram on the way to the game. So I your whole mood up you go out there only had six points and all this shit. no so for me i just believe when you get with a woman either she gonna help you elevate or she gonna help you deflate and i told my youngin in this case the fact that she asking you not to even be nothing with your life think about that my asking you to be a couch warrior you know sit at home watch the kids i gotta what my business is doing good, so I'm going to take care what? Bitch, you asking me not to be a man? What the fuck is you talking about? So at the end of the day, you know, I respected the youngin for reaching out. I respected him for wanting the game, and I respected him for leaving because he rolled the fuck out. Because at the end of the day, man, you can't sit back and rely on nobody else because a bitch will trap you up or will trap you up. Hey, you're sitting in the house believing y'all going to be here forever. And then seven, eight years go by. Now, motherfucker, want somebody new and you behind the eight ball. You busted and disgusted, dead pop. Feeling like you can't live without a motherfucker now. Now you going through all types of deep depression and all types of shit. All because you set yourself the fuck up. So I'm glad my younger listened and I'm glad he took that game and I'm glad he got away. And I told him, if something is meant for you to truly come back, brother. So if, if she is truly meant for you, then she'll understand that uh, you think that your life is worth more than sitting on a mother couch and babysitting. And if she understand that and she respect that and she truly love you, she'll come back to you. If she don't, then she wasn't meant for you. So shout out to my younger who took that game and rolled the f*** out. But uh, this is another episode of Me and Osworth for Game, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Share. Subscribe. Subscribe. Show us that love. We got Make something new coming, too. We got something new coming. <clears throat> mm -hmm. December, we're going to have Gilly and Wallow's knockout party. Mm -hmm. It's coming. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, we wanted to get in the fight game, but we get in the fight game in a different way, man. Right. You're going to have somebody out there, listen, you want to knock out, you want to call out, you want to rumble them. 
Listen, it's going down. It's going right. to be in Delaware. It's going to be big, man. And it's part of start stopping the violence. Mm -hmm. We paying y'all to rumble. Put the gloves on, man. Make some money, man. Yeah. We can settle these differences the right way. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all out here shoot motherfuckers for nothing. We can settle all these differences the right way, and you can get paid and shake hands at the end like men. Mm -hmm. And we giving out checks. So uh, make sure y'all get ready for Gillian Wallow's uh, knockout, knockout party, party, baby. Knockout party. You hear me? It's going down. It's going to be in Wilmington. Delaware. Yes. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy, man.